Hi all, so this is going to be um, quite a short video this week um, and what I want to talk about is why we take photographs, what makes us go out in all weathers, all times of the day and capture images. Why do we do it? What's in it for us? Uh, what do we enjoy about making great pictures? Uh, and the reason I'm um, got thinking about this is because I was at a camera club um, a few days ago. Um, I was doing a talk for a camera club about creating impact and mood in photography. And towards the so I was covering composition and light and colour, all the sorts of things that you, you would use artistically to create a picture that's got impact and mood. And towards the end of the talk, we were talking about light and colour. And one of the pictures I showed was this picture here. Um, and it's a picture of uh, an old ruins uh, on the Kent coast, uh, on the south coast of England. And um, I quite like this picture. It was shot pre-dawn, um, so it's just before the sun comes up in the blue hour, or the blue 20, 25 minutes. So we've got this blue toned picture here. Composition here, I quite like it. We've got some rocks in the foreground, picking up some really nice reflected light. So that's good. And then we've got a leading line leading us up and then we've got the uh, ruined abbey and also I really like this dark band of cloud because it draws the eye down onto that sort of silhouetted abbey. So compositionally I think it works okay. I think the blue tones work for the picture. Uh, because it's shot sort of pre-dawn the light levels are low so it's a slow shutter speed which means the waves are all softened out and you get that nice milky blur. So that's all good. But someone in the audience said um, yeah the only thing is um, if you was to put that shot up in front of a judge, he would knock it down or he would criticise it for this flag here because it's distracting. And you know, that's a fair point. You could say the picture's mainly about this foreground, these rocks leading you up to the abbey and that nice guy drawing you down into the abbey. So it's a fair criticism. You could say that that sort of flag here, if you can see it, that one there, uh, is a bit distracting. But I thought about it and actually I kept that in on purpose because for two reasons. One, I quite like the blurred flag because of the slow shutter speed, so it adds a little bit of, I don't know, extra energy on the right hand side of the frame. And most importantly, I think the flag points to the abbey. So it creates sort of like an extra little line along with this fence. So all these lines are leading you to that ruined abbey. But this is what got me thinking. At the end of the day, whether, so I don't belong to a camera club, this is you know, my job, so I'm, I'm out being a, a photographer most of the time. Uh, so I don't put my pictures up to be judged by other people generally. I might enter a few national competitions occasionally, but in general, um, it's not something that, that I personally have, people judging my pictures. But if I did, I wouldn't care about what that judge says. Because ultimately, I like this picture. And this is what this vlog's about. I think, for me personally, I have two hats, I suppose, I put on. One is my working hat, where I'm uh, shooting towards a brief, so I had to keep a client happy, and that's one thing entirely. So I have to make sure my photography is exactly what they want. But I also love being a photographer, and I love going out into the landscape, shooting wildlife, landscape, travel, night shoots, and all that sort of stuff. And when I'm doing that, the person I need to please, I believe, personally, my, the most, is me. Because Photography should be about enjoying herself, shouldn't it? And at the end of the day, I don't care if there's not a single person in the world that likes this picture, bar me. If I like it, I'm happy. And I think it's really, really, really important for us to please ourselves first, shoot pictures that we like, because photography is an enjoy a really enjoyable pastime. And I don't want to spoil that by thinking, oh, would this person like that, or would that judge like this, or would that person like this picture? I want to shoot something that I like, and something that gives me pleasure, and something that I enjoy. I want to enjoy being out, making images, because that's what photography, for me, ultimately is all about. And also, if I'm enjoying myself, if I look at that picture in sort of a few weeks' time, or a few months, or even a few years' time, it will take me back to when I where I was on that day, what I was feeling, and the enjoyment I felt. So I think it's really important in our photography to please ourselves first. And I've got a couple of pictures here that I wanted to show, um, and it brings us on to that theme actually. So we'll put that one to one side. And uh, so I was in, uh, last year, last January, I was in Scotland, 
with a couple of friends and we were booked in to do a mountain skills course. So basically learning to use ice axes and crampons and stuff like that. So when we're in the mountains, taking photographs, we can be safer. So we went up a two or three days beforehand and did a day uh, photograph in mountain hairs, hairs in the Kangals, which was brilliant, and then had a day landscape photography. And I took, I've got a couple of pictures here we took on that day. And uh, this is the first one. And uh, I was really pleased with this shot because it literally was one of those perfect mornings. So you've got lovely snow covered mountains, side light coming in, so we've got light and shade, but most importantly, we've got this lovely, backlit warm mist so you've got this contrast between these lovely warm tones and these cool tones and this was shot literally on a lay by by the side of a mountain road so it was a sort of picture that it was all about just being there at the right time it wasn't about making loads of effort and it was such a beautiful morning it was warm it was the light was great the atmosphere was fantastic and every time i look at this picture it takes me back to that morning and it was a fantastic morning one of those perfect photography mornings so again i like this shot and hopefully other people like it too but if there were people that said don't like that don't think this is good uh, don't like the composition then i wouldn't mind because i like it and i think that's the important thing so that was that shot and then on the same day we drove towards sky we didn't get to sky we, that wasn't the plan but we got to this um, area where we, uh, I think it's called the Five Sisters. I might be wrong, but there's a, a number of peaks. You've got a lock in the foreground. And for Scotland, it was a really still day. So that's why we went there, because we wanted mountains and we wanted reflections. And uh, anyone that's been to Scotland in the winter, you'll probably know that quite often it's a bit windy. So we were very lucky to have these still conditions. And again, this is a really simple shot. It's just a range of mountains with a clear reflection but I like it uh, the horizon's quite central but because we've got a reflection that's okay but it's a very simple composition but again this shot takes me to back to that afternoon and it was a perfect afternoon it was me and one of my really great photography friends one of, one of my friends that uh, we spend quite a few go on quite a few trips taking photographs and it reminds me of that trip and uh, we took our shots parked up by the same side of the lock got a brew on nice cup of tea chocolate biscuit and it was just one of those afternoons again a perfect photography afternoon so I was with a really good buddy got some lovely pictures and again you know if someone was to judge this picture and, and, and make a criticism of it yeah I would take anything on board if it's going to improve my photography but all said and done if the image pleases me then I'm happy and that's what I think photography is all about it's about living in that moment getting that image getting a picture that we really enjoy making so that when we look at it we can go back and say yeah that was a great time and it takes you back to that moment so you know you might not all agree um, some people obviously um, shoot for competitions and that's absolutely fine if you get enjoyment from that uh, some of us shoot for ourselves and hopefully other people will like it uh, some people if you just take snaps and you know you enjoy doing that that's fine we've got all different levels of photography but for me it's all about creating something that I enjoy and something that takes me back to that moment and really 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 live in the atmosphere and the mood and if you do that generally I think you take be better pictures so if you're looking for that mood and atmosphere and you can identify and really sort of um, identify with the the light the location the composition I think your pictures are going to be better anyway and it's much more likely that not only will you like them other people will like them too so very short um, video here I just wanted to mention that because it's something that cropped up and I thought it was worth talking about so I hope you've enjoyed um, this little vlog um, if you have enjoyed it and you haven't already subscribed um, if you can consider subscribing to my channel that would be great and if you do subscribe if you press the little bell icon you'll be notified when any of my um, videos and vlogs come up in the future um, and last but not least um, if you do like the vlog if you can press the um, thumbs up that really helps and maybe at some stage share this uh, vlog that would be great so um, thanks a lot for listening hope you've enjoyed it and uh, I think bye for now guys <laughs>